Hi. First we install the I.O. plate that comes with the motherboard. It just snaps right in. Next we remove our ASUS motherboard from its anti-static bag and position it correctly inside the case. We ensure that there are standoffs installed under all the screw holes, then mount the motherboard in place with seven screws. All the I.O. ports line up nicely with the holes in the plate. Next, we drop the processor into its socket, properly oriented of course, and lock it down. The stock cooler that comes with the AMD chip already has thermal material pre-applied to its base, so we just set it in place on top of the processor, anchor the retention clasps, and push the little handle down to lock it into place. Then we plug the fan's power connector into the CPU header on our motherboard. Now for the memory. We install the dual channel paired memory modules in the two blue slots. A module is fully installed when the levers at each end snap into place. This is wrong. We want to plug the main 20 pin connector plus 4 here and the separate 12 volt 4 pin connector here beside the processor. Then we hook up the two front panel USB ports and the power switches and front panel LEDs and a tiny little speaker to go beep and we finish off with a case fan. Here we have a solid state drive. The 2.5 inch form factor is surprisingly light. We place it here under the serial ATA optical drive so it can share the same power cable. Of course, both drives have serial ATA data cables running to the motherboard. Now we attach the power cable, plug it into the UPS, and flip the switch on the power supply. Finally, we use the front panel button to power on the new PC. No any device exists. We check the BIOS, make sure everything looks okay, and set the optical drive to be the preferred boot drive. And then we're ready to install the operating system. Oh, Microsoft. We'll proceed to install updated drivers for our hardware and Windows updates, but for right now, we're done. With Azus, there's never a lack of awkward English.